It may look like a detention centre, but this is Aylesbury Estate in Southwark. Most tenants, hundreds of whom have lived in the buildings for decades, have now been moved out for the estate to be demolished and redeveloped. Many were faced with compulsory purchase orders from the council, which they say leaves them little hope of finding somewhere nearby to live. Since January, protesters have occupied several flats in opposition to the council's plans, and apparently to deter them, a massive spiked fence has been erected to, quote, protect the remaining residents. But aside from the so-called state-led gentrification of the estate, the latest scandal facing the council is its security arrangements. Protesters say private security and police tried to evict them, and when we arrived to film the incident, we were met with a gate slammed in our face. You are not a tenant, please. No, she's a tenant. But she's allowing she us in. But you are not. But she's allowing but us I in. The guards refused to let us speak to a supervisor, tell us who they were working for, or what legal powers they were using to deny entry to the estate. Instead, they threatened us with arrest. The council told RT the project was about improving the lives of people on the estate, with new homes, better open spaces and community facilities. They had earlier told media that the fence was put up because of concerns expressed by residents about antisocial behaviour on the site. We returned at night to speak to one resident on condition of anonymity. When asked if she felt unsafe, she told us a different story. Even when the fences went up, I was surprised. You see these big guys, you find them on the gates, yeah? Some of them, they don't even have a badge to say that uh, they are security. Who would I know that this person is a security or not? So I feel more intimidated by seeing these big guys, these young protesters, they are young people. They are young uh, children. Some of them are like the age of my children. So I don't feel intimidated by the protesters. And it seems the presence of security is having a knock-on effect. There are people who are afraid to even talk to you because they feel if they talk to you, then maybe they won't be rehoused. They will have a problem with the council. On our way out, we confronted the guards about their lack of identification. Can I ask if you don't mind, as part of your licence and conditions under PSA Act 2001, you're meant to have your badge on display at all times. Can I ask why you don't have that on display? Because we don't have to. You don't have to? Yeah, I'm going to have, have to show you my badge if I'm going to check you. Yeah, no, no, no. Here. You have to have it on display, you know that, under your licence and conditions. No comment on that. For the time being, the remaining residents are being forced to comply with the fence and the council's eviction plans. But they say they're now mounting a legal challenge against what they're calling social cleansing. Daniel Hawkins, RT, London.